Should we eat shark? All right, everybody. We are back at Carlsbad, Carlsbad State Beach, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of surf fishing. I'm gonna rig all my stuff up, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get some surf perch and spot fin croaker. Let's let's hope. We got first cast, and I am kind of battling the surfers right now for space, but there is an opening to the left-hand side where I'll be able to cast, and not worry about getting caught up on anybody. <sighs> I think I got something on the line. Not 100% positive, but I think I got something. Oh yeah, oh. little itty bitty croaker. We'll throw him back. First one, first one. So I got this thing rigged up like I did last time. Instead of using an actual weight, right now I'm just using this uh, this jig, <laughs> this saltwater jig. And then I've got this uh, 15 pound leader line. And then I have this little size number one mosquito hook with a piece of shrimp on it so we're casting that out and i'm thinking that with this little jig i catch their attention a little bit and then they'll follow up and grab this so so far we got one croaker in the bag let's let's get a bigger one oh. all right i got one I got, a, I got a decent size one on right now. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Let's try and take it for a run. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'll be the most, that's the first time I've ever caught a shark. First leopard shark in the bag. That's badass. You got a shark? Yeah. Oh, All right. That's cool. That's pretty badass. Should we eat shark? I don't know if I feel like eating shark. I don't know what shark tastes like, but. I think I'm gonna let this guy go. Check that guy out. <laughs> oh, he's strong. How cool is that? There we go. No? Shrimp? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Kind of like sandpaper if you go the other way. That's sick. Heck yes. Oh, buddy. All right. Yes! I got my first shark! <laughs> oh, check that out. That is one close. All right! How cool! <laughs> that was the closest flying helicopter I've ever seen. These waves out here are freaking vicious. I don't know if I'm gonna catch a good one, but like, my God. This has been absolutely insane. These waves are freaking crashing so hard. And uh, it keeps on dragging my line like over and over and over again. But like, oh my God, it's kind of perfect. This is like almost sunset time. We only have a little while until sunset. And this is so pretty. I definitely want to catch another fish because uh, I literally did not eat this whole morning and afternoon because I was planning on doing this and seeing if I could actually uh, catch dinner. So uh, this is this is one of the few times that I've actually uh, kind of starved myself to make it so the uh, struggle is more real. Because everybody likes a good struggle now, don't they? Video not sponsored by Rain, but I mean, I wouldn't complain if they did spawn for me. Mm. If anybody has not had this Rain Inferno Red Dragon thermogenic fuel, they should, because this shit's bomb.com. Mm. Oh, no, I got some. I got some. Ooh. What is this? Oh no, I'm fighting something. Oh, it might be, a, this one might, might actually be another shark. Cause this thing is bending my rod right now. Come on. This, whatever this is, this is big. I haven't had something fight me this much, like ever. Oh my God. This thing is gonna be huge. Oh, it's a big old stingray. 
Oh, that thing is huge. Oh, that's a big stinger. I just hooked him. I hooked him in the wing. Come on. Oh, that thing is huge. Oh my God, I've never seen a stingray so big this close to land. I don't think that's a regular stinger. I think that's like a devil ray or something. I know, buddy. Okay. Get away, come on. Come on, go the other way, go the other way. Go the other way. Yeah, get out of the surf. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! I'm pretty sure that was a devil ray. Kind of feel bad because I couldn't find where the hook was. This is what it is 15 pound Seeger line. Fluorocarbon, that's what it's called. Oh, I am getting a hit right now. Oh, please be a croaker. Please be a croaker. Ooh, that's got some fight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this thing is taking a lot of line though. Ooh, ooh, it's taking a lot of line. Oh. oh, I don't know what it is, but I want to get it in. Come on, come on. Oh. oh, man, I'm catching some big stuff. Come on, big boy. Oh, man, it is bending this rod. Get over here. Oh, oh, his fight's not over yet. Oh shit! Oh man, I've never had a bend in this pole so much. This thing's bending like a noodle. If anybody watches that guy Field Days, he's got this rod he takes out when he was fishing over in Bali. I loved it. I love watching his videos. You should definitely check out his uh, his Instagram and his uh, his channel. But he's got this rod. He calls it the noodle rod, and that is straight up what is happening right now. This is like a noodle rod. Oh my god. Oh. oh man, I'm so glad that I stayed out later. Oh, oh you gotta be getting them here close soon. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I think he's right here. Oh, oh what is this? Come on. I think it might be another... This might be another big ass stingray. Or maybe a shark. Oh, oh, he's not ready. He's not ready to come in yet. Whatever it is, it's got a whole lot of fight to it. All right. This, this is the most fight fishing I've ever, I don't know about ever had, but man, it's been a long time since I had a fight this good. I think it's a ray. I think I'm pretty sure that's a stingray. Ooh, bring it in. It's another one of those devil rays, I think. Ooh, a big one. Wonder if this is the same one. Oh no, that's a shark. Oh, is it a shark? No, that's a. I don't know. I can't tell. The, is is this a shovel nose? That. I've never seen something like this before. I think that's called a shovel nose. I'm pretty sure this is a shovel nose stingray. Oh my God. Oh, you get back here. I don't know if this is a, I think this is a shark. Yeah, this is a shark. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Look at that thing. Oh, he's a big boy. This looks like it's a cross between a shark and a stingray. That's what it looks like. Look at, look at how big this thing is. Look how huge that thing is. Okay. Now I need to get this thing out of his mouth. See if I can get him back in the water. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yep, flip over. 
There we go. So look how big this thing is. So my legs are spread out pretty darn wide right now. That's how big he is. All right, now let's get back. Let's get him back into the water. Okay. There. Check that big boy out. Oh. No, no, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was awesome. Oh. oh, man. That thing was huge. I really wish that I would have had a little bit more time and pulled out the measuring tape on him, but he was already out of the water for too long. I felt bad. Oh, and I'm not going to eat him, so I'm going to cast out one, one more time because tomorrow I got work in the morning, so. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. get over here. I think this is actually a fish. Please tell me it's croaker. Please tell me it's croaker, come on. Oh, it's a shark. It's another shark, man. This is just a night of sharks and stingrays. Check this guy out. Oh, well, why are you hitting yourself, bud? This time I actually have my pliers on hand, so that's convenient. Check this little guy out. How cool is he? This one is obviously too short. Obviously too short to keep. Got two of my shoes back to back. Woo. We'll find out how much two of my shoes is. So it's from tip, it's from tip of the shoe to the middle of the other shoe. Uh. Woo. Oh, he sure is a feisty one, isn't he? If you've never caught sharks before, their skin is a very interesting texture. Woo. Oh, you're bleeding a little bit. Okay, this little guy needs to go back. Check that little guy out. <laughs> How cool. There we go. There we go. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, but he is in the water. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I've got something else. I got something else on right now. All right. All right, check it out. We got a stingray. Another one. Okay, so with these, got a, they're good. They'll, they'll try to whip you. They'll try to whip you. And so what you want to do is you wait until they stop moving, put your hand down, on them so you stop their little tail from moving. Gotta find out which way this little hook is going. Whoop. Come on, no, no, Whoop. Nope. See, you should've just, you should've just waited, bud. Nope, all right. Come on, there we go. All right, there we go. Popped off. Take a hold of him. Oh, he's gonna try to whip me with everything he's got. There we go. Definitely not nearly as big as that other double ray that I caught. This is like baby ray. Sweet baby rays. I wonder if barbecue sauce would be good on him. All right, into the water you go. All right. Oh, we are. Come on. Come on, give me a big popper. There we go. All right. Yeah. Oh, it smoked it. 
Wait, is it a croaker? <sighs> oh, look at that. The long awaited croaker finally shows up to party. Not the biggest croaker, but hey, you know what? I'm gonna take it. Well, I don't have enough time to do the uh, catch and cook on the beach, but if I can get like two more of these, I'll do a catch and cook tomorrow when I get back from work. Ooh. So, we're going to dispatch this small fellow as humanely as possible. quick all right there we go and like I said for the dispatch I do just stick the knife directly behind the eyes straight in and then twist sideways and it kills them basically instantly and uh, I think that that is just so much more humane than bashing them on the back of the head because I've tried that bashing them on the back of the head thing and I just I just feel bad about it you know, All right, we're gonna try to bleed him right here. Cut the gills. Ooh, I think I just got splattered with blood. Gross. There we go. Finally, the croaker. <laughs> Jeez, all day long I've been trying to catch a croaker. I catch one when I get here, and then one six hours later. But hey, you know what? I caught the croaker that I asked for. So I guess I can't do too much complaining. Check out that little baby right there. Not the biggest, but uh, that'll cook up real nice. And I'll do the catch and cook tomorrow when I get home. We are back here in the car. Whew. Was that walk up that hill a doozy? Almost tripped like four times. Anyway, verdict for tonight, success success we came we saw we conquered the only thing that we didn't conquer is that massive croaker i got a little baby croaker and i'll be cooking that up tomorrow so after i get off work tomorrow i will continue this video all right until then here in the backyard now so I did promise that I was going to show you the new little toy that I got for my channel and then also I did promise that I was gonna cook this baby up the next day which was after work so I had to go do that Ugh, work you know so the new little toy that I did get for the channel is to improve the kitchen cooks now I do plan on cooking on site so I got myself this little burner off of Amazon it folds out and it has this little cable and then also these little legs fold out so let's try this baby out Ooh. and this is one of the ones that has like a it's got its own lighter all right we're gonna toss this baby on and we are cooking. Now, we got the butter. And then this time, I'm gonna throw a lime in while it's cooking. And then also, I'm gonna be making it with some lime and cilantro rice. Um, this time, I'm not gonna use a regular onion. I'm gonna use green onions to cook in there. And we're gonna see how that tastes. It's 
a little bit, a little bit different recipe. Also, what I haven't done in a little bit is uh, because this fish was so small, I'm just gonna cook it whole. So I'm gonna score it on the sides just a couple times. All right, and then I'm gonna toss this baby on just butter for right now. Well, I'm excited. So I am looking forward to this. And also I have the rice cooking up right now and we'll prepare that in a moment. I'm gonna go run inside and grab some grab some seasoning. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the Aloha chicken and fish rub because so far that's kind of been like my go-to and I, th I just think it tastes great on every fish that I've put it on. So I will be right back. And we're back. All right, and uh, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is this is the John Henry's Aloha Chicken and Fish Rub. This stuff is delicious, love it. And so I am going to toss this on generously. Just because it's a rub, not actually a spice or a seasoning. So it's not like super potent. And I'm gonna do a little bit of salt over the top there. Put that over. Ooh. Here. Look at that. Ooh. I'm gonna drop a little bit of lime on there. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. There you go. Little fish rub. Oh, you know what? I'm better doing this left-handed. Ooh. There you go. Fish rub right there. Generously. I threw a little bit more lime over the top of that. Alright, and while I wait for that, I'm going to cut up the green onions. That is starting to look pretty darn good, if you ask me. Even if you didn't ask me, I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> All right, I am back. I'm back. Got the rice here. And what I'm going to do is I already threw some lime on this cilantro, so I'm gonna throw that on there. I'm gonna mix that up into it just a little bit. We have squeeze these till there is nothing left of them. And then I am also going to cut open one more just because I am obsessed with limes. All right. We're gonna squeeze a little bit more on there. In this cilantro lime rice, throw a little bit of salt on there and oh my God. Like, you will not be upset that you made it. All right. A little bit of salt. A little bit more over that. I do believe this is probably getting pretty close to finished here. Let's see, that head just popped right off. I believe it is already. There. There you go. Let's try this. Get that first bite in there all right there's not a whole lot of meat on this one just because it's not huge but there we go there we go that is really good I'm telling you this John Henry's Aloha chicken and fish rub you gotta try it oh it's so good it's like a sweet savory plus if you throw a little bit of salt on there it's absolutely perfect and I think because I put the lime and because I put the cilantro or the lime and then the salt, look at that. Look at that. It's perfect. Cook to perfection. That like nice white meat. Mmm. And then the cilantro lime rice. To go with it. Oh. I absolutely love 
cilantro and lime on rice. Absolutely love it, especially with fish. Mm. To begin with, I really think that rice and fish go together perfectly. I love plain white rice. A lot of the time I don't even add salt or pepper or butter or anything. I just love plain white rice. With fish, if you add that cilantro and lime, delicious. Mm. Oh, this is so good. I don't know if you can... Oh, man. <laughs> Off of that tiny little fish. Mmm. Juicy piece of tender goodness. Mm. Oh. All right, I think uh, I think that's it for this one. Yeah. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Just gotta beat it into submission. Sometimes you gotta do that, you know. Sometimes you gotta do that. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, and I will see you on the next one. Lefty, out.